Hey guys, it's me, Brett. And as most of you know, we carry trailers here at Tom Dinsdale Automotive. Uh, we sold a lot of them over the years, and so we keep selling more and more. And I wanted to do a video about what do you do after you buy your trailer. So some of you guys that bought from us, I know you've got tons of them for your fleets, for your businesses. Uh, and then some of you just personal use and only use it periodically. Uh, but I want to make sure you get the most out of your trailers uh, and that they last you a long time. So uh, I want to point out some stuff that you should be doing to your new trailer uh, to make sure you're getting the most out of it. So let me just use a dump box. So if you were to buy a dump box or really any trailer, there's a few things that you need to be doing. So to start with, any new trailer, you know, new surfaces are slick. So what you have to do is those lug nuts you need to make sure you're torquing them especially while they're new so after you get it home you should torque it before your next trip uh, really after 50 miles 100 miles uh, 200 miles make sure you get get it torqued three times really early in the life of it uh, believe it or not if you don't those lug nuts can back off that metal is slick and it's not broken in yet so make sure you get those torqued up uh, secondly nearly all of our trailers come with what's called a easy lube hub so this grommet right here you can pull that off and there's a grease zerk right behind it so you just hook up your grease gun to it give it a couple pumps to each hub so all four in this instance uh, for every trip so got to make sure there's plenty of grease in there fresh grease otherwise hubs going to overheat it's gonna wear out you can have them fail and you could lose a tire that way as well uh, the other thing is anything that moves should have a grease point so right here we've got a grease point uh, the toolbox you can see the grease is on there comes pre-greased there's another grease point and that little sticker there most should everything that needs grease should be marked so just look at any pivot points on your trailer and make sure that they get greased up. If they don't, they're going to rust and they're going to fail. So I've seen the toolbox lids. Don't get enough grease in there. As that moves over time, you're going to have that rust up, seize up, and it's gonna break. And then you don't have all of these uh, precious electronics, the pump, the reservoir. You don't have them protected anymore because your lid doesn't stay on. So just wanted to point out those three key things torque your lug nuts grease your hubs grease your pivot points all the the marked points and just keep keep an eye on it if you start getting any they're powder coated very durable finish if you get any of the powder coating wearing off over the years of use just touch it up with some spray paint keep it from rusting it'll last you a lot of years guys Hopefully you liked the video. Uh, if you want more, if you have more questions, if there's anything that I missed that you guys that are more, that haul these every day, anything I missed, let me know in the comments, post it below, uh, let me know. I'd like to do more videos for you guys. I just wanna try to give you guys as much info as I know, uh, and I'd be happy to learn more if there's something specific you guys have questions for. So just let me know, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.